pride was envisaged and uh, chalked out as something that would transform the way this company works. Bulk of our success comes from excellent execution at the front line and therefore winning at the point of sale is the most critical battle that we have. How do we do that? We do that by engaging in a good conversation at the point of sale. The sales outlet owner or the person who is working at the sales outlet is the most important person after the consumer for us. We are a brands company, we have excellent brands but if you don't convey these brands to the consumer in the right fashion at these limited outlets, you have lost the battle before you've even begun. We started Pride because we believed we were sitting on a pile of information, a wealth of information which we were doing nothing with but which given the hands of the salesman would have been extremely useful to him. Our business is such that a salesman actually doesn't go and sell anything. He actually has enabled and empowered conversations. The reason why we went to salesforce.com as compared to many of its other competitors was because we believed it is a a market leader and being a market leader would be at the forefront of development. Two, it has got a system which is actually modular and which can be scaled up without having to go to very high end consultants to build every little change. We had uh, multiple options. We could have gone with a very large consulting firm which is uh, one of the lead uh, implementation partners of salesforce.com. We chose to go with a smaller firm like ET Marlabs because we believed it was agile, it was nimble and they understood our requirements. They came with a far better plan than anybody else as to how they would go around taking our requirements and making it into a working plan. You would be aware that prior to this we didn't have any structured way of sales CRM or sales uh, software or any of such uh, processes. We thought ET Marlabs would be in the right place to grow along with us, to develop along with us rather than come with very bulky processes that may not be right for our business. I think the most uh, fascinating or enthusiastic part about the ET Marlabs team is a bunch of young people who are like our brand. You know, they're young, aspirational, they want to do things. They've been always solution oriented. They wouldn't uh, come with a cannot be done kind of mindset. They were fairly uh, interested in trying to find a solution. They were open to inputs that we gave. I think it's the combination of that entrepreneurial spirit, which is the DNA of our company, which we saw reflected in that organization and the team of people that worked with us that made it really work well. It would be the most uh, convenient and comfortable to think, yes, we had complete clarity as to what we wanted to do and how we wanted to do it. Yes, that worked. We had on day one when we started the project. And by the time I think we got midway through the project, we realized that many of the things that we had taken for granted and we had assumed to be the right way to do was something that we needed to question. And the process has been an evolutionary one. However, from day one, we were quite sure that it would give us a competitive edge it would give us a competitive advantage. It would make our sales team far more powerful than what it is today. The results are there for us to see. We have seen excellent outcomes in the way we engage with outlets, in the way problems have been reduced, in the turnaround time for problem reduction, in the way escalation and resolution happens, and more importantly, the pride that the salesman has in going out to the outlet.